U.S. House Speaker, House of Representatives, pardon me, was plunged into chaos on Tuesday after Republican leader Kevin McCarthy failed in three consecutive votes to secure enough support to be elected as Speaker. The deadlocked House was then adjourned for the day. The failed votes mark the first time in a hundred years that the majority party in the House has not elected a Speaker on its first vote. Needing 218 votes in the full House, McCarthy got just 203 in two rounds. Less even than Democrat Hakeem Jeffries in the GOP-controlled chamber. 19 of his own party leaders voted against him. A third ballot was even worse when McCarthy lost 20 votes. Tensions rose as all other business came to a halt here. The California congressman needed a simple majority to be elected as Washington's top legislator who presides over House business and is second in line to the presidency. During each of the three voice votes, every Democrat on the floor rallied unanimously around incoming minority leader Hakeem Jeffries, but a section of the conservative Republicans split from their party to back other candidates, including longtime McCarthy ally, Republican Jim Jordan. We do not want to be here at this moment. We would prefer to have a unity of purpose, but we will not continue to allow the uniparty to run this town without a fight. There's very little difference between Nancy Pelosi and her California delegation mate that seeks the gavel. And we want to change because this town is broken. Jordan, who nominated and voted for McCarthy, won 20 votes in the third round. Jeffries, the incoming Democratic minority leader, won 212 votes in each of the three rounds. It was not clear whether McCarthy, who has the support of a wide majority, would have the support to overcome the hardline opposition and win the speakership. The House agreed to return on Wednesday. Without a Speaker, the House cannot fully form, which includes swearing in its members, naming its committee chairman, engaging in floor proceedings, launching investigations of the Biden administration. The chaos and confusion in the House, it also points to the difficult road ahead for the Republican Party that is in control of the House now. Republicans, they won a narrow 222 to 212 majority in November's midterm election, meaning that McCarthy or any candidate for Speaker will need to unify a fractious caucus to win the gavel here. Democrats hold a slim majority in the Senate. Meanwhile, the Senate is not scheduled to come back until the 23rd of January for a vote. For more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report. Let's listen in. The lack of a winner delayed the launch of the Republicans' agenda after they won the midterm elections and maybe a preview of what's to come regarding the visions within the party. With no speaker in place, no lawmaker can be sworn in, and no other business can take place, including the first issue that the Republicans wanted to tackle, and that was rollback for the funding of the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, which is responsible for taxes here in the United States. The vote also really exposed the deep fractures within the GOP and the direction the party wants to take moving forward. Kevin McCarthy and his allies have vowed to stay the course until they have enough votes, calling their opponents self-serving. But the question remains whether or not an alternative will be presented where all Republicans can agree on or whether or not Kevin McCarthy will ultimately get the gravel. Susan Tarquani reporting from New York for We On World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.